Hello wrestling fans, boxing fans, and everybody out there. How are you? It's ride time. Wrestling and boxing forever. Now folks, we all know about the passing of Jay Briscoe due to a car accident. May he rest in peace and rest comfortable. My condolences go out to his family his brother, and everybody who knew him, and everybody who loved him. Um, tomorrow will be my Barry Wyndham spotlight. And, um, well, let's get into it. Um, Zack Sabre Jr., he won the... <clears throat> he won the the first New Japan Pro Wrestling television uh, television title of New Japan Pro Wrestling. Um, there's going to be 15 minutes for those for those television title matches in New Japan Pro Wrestling. Um, the Motor City Machine Guns they successfully. The, the Motor City Machine Guns defeated Rhino and Heath to become the tag team champions and of of uh, Impact Wrestling. And And um, speaking of tag team wrestling, the WWE, they unified the tag team belts. But right now they got a, right now they got a tournament going on to pick out the number one contenders for the SmackDown Tag Team Championships. So it looks like they're going to separate the tag team titles. Um, Raw had the 30th anniversary show last, last night. It was a terrific show. Um, M Mickey James is the Impact Wrestling Knockouts Champion. Um, Frankie Kazarian signed a contract with Impact Wrestling. He's there to stay. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, folks, there's been a lot of talk about the, the Uso brothers and the Briscoes who was the who was the better brother tag team, and due to the situation with Jay Briscoe and the fact that he passed away, we'll, we'll never get answers to those questions. But it, it's a it it it's a total dr dream matchup for the fans, and all we can do now is wonder what if. But like I said in my tribute to Jay Briscoe, I would have to give the, the nod to the Briscoe brothers. Um, now, we gonna talk a little We gonna talk a little boxing also. We are gonna talk a little boxing as well. Um, um, Chris, uh, Chris Eubank Jr. 
he took a L by getting knocked out by Liam Smith. I think his name is Liam Liam Smith. I don't I don't remember who I don't remember the name of his opponent, but I do remember Chris Eubank Jr. taking a loss and uh, an injury to Charlo stops the matchup with him and Tim Zhu. So it'll be interesting to see where they go from here. Um, there's a lot of interesting matchups going on at 154, at 154 pounds. Um, Danny Garcia moved up. I believe that I believe that Andrade moved up to 168 if I'm not mistaken um but we'll have to wait and see what happens we're going back to wrestling now folks the NWA, who have, they've been doing a lot of spotlight shows. This is their second part of the interview with Austin Idol. They had uh, Tom Pritchard on there. Just talking about experiences within the wrestling business. Pretty cool. But, January 31st. is when power comes back. Actual wrestling comes back. January 31st. February 11th is pay-per-view. Enough said. And... Um, the Royal Rumble is coming up, and this is the first time that I'm a little bit, I really don't know what the heck is going on with the Royal Rumble, but I don't know who's in it. The only matchup that I know of is the one with uh, Bray Wyatt and L.A. Knight. Um... The Motor City Machine Guns, they're the, the the tag team champions for Impact Wrestling. Frankie Kazarian signed a contract with Impact Wrestling, so he's back. Um, Tony Khan announced a streaming service where all the ROH programmage Honor Club is what they're calling it. $10 a month, $9.99. Where you'll get all past and present ROH pay-per-views and television events and all that kind of stuff. Darby Allen and Sting went to Japan with the Great Muda. As we all know that the Great Muda is about to retire very soon. Um, he's on his goodbye tour, actually. Um, the United Wrestling Network, uh, Championship Wrestling from Memphis, they had their 100th episode. Um, and we saw the gun show, Brett Michaels, get back his, his Memphis Heritage Championship by beating... Um, Mike Anthony, I think, is, or Steve, I forgot what his name is, but Brett Michaels, um, the gun show, Brett Michaels, he gets back his Memphis Heritage Championship. I think his name is Mike Anthony. Forgive me if I'm wrong. 
Well, folks, to be honest, the passing of Jay Briscoe kind of, kind of threw me off. And, uh, I'm, I'm so sorry for what happened. I'm so sorry for his family and friends. He just came off of one of the best dog collar matchups on earth. And to the Uso brothers, if you want to know how good the Briscoes are, go ahead and talk to FTR. Go talk to the team formerly known as the Revival, and they'll tell you how good the Briscoe brothers are or were. Go ask the Hardy Boys how good the Briscoe brothers are. Dustin Rhodes is uh, coming to the end of his career. By the end of this year, Dustin Rhodes is going to be calling it a career. Um, Dustin Rhodes, three-time Intercontinent, three-time Intercontinental Champion, um, WWE Tag Team Champion with Booker T. Um... In WCW, he pretty much did everything. The only belt he didn't hold was the World Heavyweight title. But he was a former United States champion more than once. I believe he was a television champion. He was one-third of the six-man tag team champions. So, kudos to Dustin Rhodes. He spent some time <clears throat> he spent time in impact wrestling. Uh folks, I can't wait to see the NWA putting back getting back to the wrestling shows and and get back to the championship series. Right time, wrestling and boxing forever. I'm out.